everybody. Welcome uh, to another episode of Cape Rugby TV. Every week we, of course, take a look at what's happening in the world of club rugby. Big thanks to our partners on board with us. Score Energy Drinks, you see them behind me there, and you can, of course, win yourself a case of score during the course of the show. MCHEM 24-Hour Pharmacy, and, uh, of course, um, Iceberg Aircons, also on board with Cape Rugby TV now. Right, folks, so coming up on the show tonight, we'll take a look at some of the highlights in the match between Hands and Hearts and uh, Scottsdale. We know that's a, dig, a big derby, and of course, one of the teams will be walking away, or did walk away, with the bragging rights over the weekend. Um, we'll catch up with uh, Scott Steen's director of coaching, Bux Frisler, as well as their captain, Erwin Bumby. And of course, we speak to Hands and Hearts head coach, Peter Links, who's been on the show many times, and Hands and Hearts captain, Jean Blow. So, very exciting to be catching up with a club or two clubs at least, for a change, that are playing rugby. And, of course, in this case, it's a big derby match. We're very excited about that. We also go down to uh, the HBC, where we catch up with the DHL Western Province Curry Cup side. Jerome Parvater and his team are still training hard as they stay active in the Carling Curry Cup. Well, we'll be speaking to Centre Cornell Smith, a, a scrum of Godlin Masimla, and, of course, uh, Centre Mbombo, at least uh, Nombo, as well in Daba. So those interviews coming up tonight. And then while we are there down there, we'll also be, again, as always, uh, finding out what's happening in the world of Western Province women's rugby. A number of interviews coming up. And so that is, of course, very exciting for us as we keep tracking women's rugby. We certainly know that from a Western Province perspective, there is a lot of focus on getting the women's rugby teams back on the field right now, the club rugby uh, women's teams. And then, of course, we'll wrap up the show tonight with uh, Faisal Felton from Western Province Rugby as we get a province update, and we also take a look at your um, uh, results and fixtures from the weekend. So if you want to see some of the results, keep watching to the end of the show. And if you want to know what's coming up uh, this weekend, keep watching till the end of the show. But right now, let's take a look at the first half in the derby match between Hans and Hots and Scottsdale.
right, so the first half action there of the match between Hands and Hearts and uh, Scott Scene, of course, playing there at Aikendal. Um, home ground advantage for Hands and Hearts. Uh, and, uh, well, first half still looking a little bit 50-50. Um, but we'll take a look at what happens in the second half, and then, of course, you'll get that result. So Hands going into the lead then in the first half. We managed to speak to the Scott Steen Director of Coaching, Bux Frisler, after the game. Ja, dit is voor ons, het was is ons lekker geweest dat ons het, het tenminste voor mensen kon gespeeld het vandaag. En dat ons, dat ons bouwproces kan beginnen. Verstaan, want na die twee jaar is het net zo so goed, je moet weer beginnen op bouw van oor af. Want die beide spelers verloren die twee jaar. En ons is in die stadium, maar ons is excited voor wat ons gezien het vandaag. Ja, bij beslis, bij beslis, bij je ook het gewijs wat hoe komen hulle en hy, en hy squat is. Bij ook eens het experience opgedoen vandaag. Want ons het in een baie goeie span gespeeld met groot experience. En ons kan net geleer het vandag in die, in die derby. En het is lekker geweest om te zien ons gemeenskap ondersteun rugby in die kruifend en geweste. Ja, hulle sien uit daarna, daar sal natuurlijk uh, moendelik een paar veranderings plaas vind vir Easter of die volgende week. Ons hoop en vertrouwen ten goede. Uh, die coaches weet waarom hulle moet gaan werk die week. En as ek die ouwens gaan moet kyk, jy weet, hulle kop is omhoog. Hulle weet, het gaan een zwaar seizoen wees, dit is die eerste keer wat skoot zien, in afdeling 2 meedeel. So, baie van die oudjes het nog nooit daar gespeel nie. So, dit is een kans vir hulle om te bewys, dat uit skoot zien geleder, het kan goeie, goeie rugby spelers kom. Great words there from uh, Scott Steen, Director of Coaching, Bix Frisler, uh, talking there about a rebuilding process, and also uh, just getting the experience back on track. So really positive. Um, I think that that's what we're looking for is we know everybody's getting back on the field so far, but uh, nice positive words there from Brooks, from Brooks at least. Uh, let's go now speak to Scott Steen, Captain Owen Bambi. Man, it is very nice to be back. It is very nice to be back. I can't wait to play for the perspectives even to play. I think it is, it is long for the wait. Um, the feeling for rugby is there. And as far as it comes, it's a cry, a cry, it's a cry. Man, for years now, it's always grown between us, between these two spanners. Um, the game for today, yeah, I think that it's not going to go. Um, they can it, they can it play with anything. But what I can say, um, our character is strong. Even with the young teams in the squad, um, can it, can it, can anything happen? What, what, what ever comes, we'll never stand for it. We can game for this, um, but let's see how long it's going to go. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of what we can learn from today. Um, a lot what we can learn from Baie boks wat is afgetiekerd, wat is wou geprobeerd het en uitgetraaid en het vos gewerk. Um, ons een van die punt is verdediging, um, kan ons baie aan werk, maar het is soos, soos moeg beginne raak het man. En soos die man ook opgekom het en hulle kan ons gaan uitsoep nie waar die nou hoor. Nu is hier wat begin, ja ons is excited, baie excited, ons is baie excited om wat doop in die klap. Um, ons is een lekker groot squad, ons eerste van en die tweede span, um, so ons sien uit na baie goeie jare voorleem. Well, if you are watching, you've probably got the, the cat is out of the bag there, but uh, make sure that you keep watching after the break to see the highlights of the second half. But uh, nice uh, words there from Irwin, um, of course, saying that every year this is a big derby and um, good for them to be back on the, on the field. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll take a look at the second half highlights of the match between Hands and Hearts and Scottsdean. Back in a sec. Don't go away.